The new national party says once voted into office, a number of public servants will begin to receive their pension from government. The announcements were made by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell on Sunday in St. David's. Government estimates that the reinstatement of pension for public servants following a court ruling is estimated at $465 million as a one-off payment and an additional $120 million annually. However, Dr. Mitchell confidently said payments will begin later this year. All entitled public officers appointed by the Public Service Commission who will retire in 2022 at the legally accepted retirement age of 60 will be paid their pension during this year 2022 when the budget is being presented for 2023 at the end of 2022 those public servants that will retire in 2023 the pension payment will be in the budget document that we will bring forth for that year so those in 2023 will also be paid their payment sisters and brothers as regards to the pensions that are outstanding and are due to those who retired long before this year we will have a phased approach for payment consistent with the national cash flow and that will be announced shortly sisters and brothers as it relates to the pension issue political leader of the national democratic congress deacon mitchell addressed some options for paying pensions to public servants we will raise the money we will if necessary borrow the money either by the issuance of a government bond or straight borrowing from the financial institutions within the region and we will pay that money to our public servants particularly the public servants who have not been paid their pensions from 1985 to the date of the judgment nnp's candidate for st david's oliver joseph reacted to the options put forward by the ndc take a loan even at one percent or zero percent you still have the principal to repay and if you take a loan of 400 million you automatically increase the debt stock and therefore increase the debt to gdp ratio that will take us back in the days from where we come from the government set up a special committee which has been given three months to advise on how to best meet its obligations to pay pensions to qualifying public workers in accordance with the court ruling. A formal pronouncement has not yet come from this body on the way forward. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.